It is 65 degrees in Phoenix today. Good day to make chili. We can't use canned beans. One cup of canned beans is 470 milligrams of sodium. So I buy peak small red beans. According to the package, there's 75 milligrams in the whole package when you get it done. But Google search says there's 10. We're going to use the 75 in our recipe. Whenever I see a difference like that, I go to the highest number. I used 12 cups of water to cook one pound of beans. If I had used my tap water, because I know how much sodium's in it, I would have added 420 milligrams to my chili. Not something I want to do. It takes just about the same amount of time to cook three pounds of beans as it does one. And then you get a whole lot for your freezer. I just don't happen to need any in there at this time. So I'm just doing one pound. When I freeze it, this is a frozen pack. I freeze it flat. Well, this isn't, but about as close as I can get it. And I mark them. Chili. Three cups. And I know what's in here. I've got different sizes in my freezer. Sometimes Johnny wants to have a hamburger cut in half on toasted bun with chili poured on the top of it. And the whole thing is less than 350 milligrams for a good size dinner. I just don't happen to like it on the bread like that. But he sure does. I think it took me right at three hours to cook the beans. They're ready. I've got the hamburger meat browned with the onion in it. I'm ready to go. The crock pot is sitting over here ready for me. I'm going to put the cooked hamburger meat in with the beans and add petite cut tomatoes, no salt added. Tomato sauce, no salt added. Tomato paste. No salt added does not mean there's no sodium in there. Tomatoes naturally have sodium. There's going to be some in there. I'm not sure if I'm going to use one can or two cans of tomatoes. Depends on my mood. Sometimes I want a little bit more tomato in there. I am going to use my homemade chili powder. Store-bought chili powder has 240 milligrams or one tablespoon. Our homemade blend has less than five. You have to shake it up, but when you use it, because there's a lot of fine stuff in here and it kind of settles down to the bottom, I make it in a jar and I've got it handy. One day Johnny was looking for something to snack on. So we took the chili powder, and we have some Knudsen's Hampshire sour cream. That only has 10 milligrams for two tablespoons. Get this at my grocery store and at Walmart. He put some of this in a bowl, put a little bit of chili powder in it, mixed it up, and had a dip. And he said it was really good. A little too spicy for me. But he liked it really well. When I get finished with my chili, I'm going to measure it, and then we'll see just how much chili I get out of one pound of beans. It's just barely noon. My dinner is in my crock pot on low. It's going to just sit there all day and make this house smell amazing. It was a two cans of tomato kind of day. I just felt like putting them in there. For the whole pot of chili, I used four tablespoons of that homemade chili powder. Taste it. Let it simmer a little while. Give it a little taste test. If you like more garlic in it, add a little more garlic powder. Or if you want a little more onion flavor, add a little bit more onion to it. Canned tomatoes have a tendency to make a dish taste a little bit sweet. If it tastes sweet to you and you don't like that, 
You can add the teaspoon of cocoa, it has no sodium, but it smooths that out where you don't have that sweet taste, but you just got the good tomato flavor. My dinner is done. In the cocoa. When you make chili, you make a little bit extra so that you get some of those nice packages in your freezer. Take those out of there, and you've got prepared dinner.